Welcome to Octopus Omnichannel Commerce Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover some of the features that will help you connect your offline store to your online store. Once you log into Octopus, this is the page where you will land, the product management. Uh, in one of the uh, previous tutorials, we had talked about setting up Octopus as a pass-through. Just a quick reminder, if it is set up as a pass-through, you don't really need to log in here and do anything. But if you have turned off the pass-through feature, this section, the product management, uh, becomes essentially a waiting area. Uh, I will elaborate more on that. But first of all, let me just uh, give you a very quick overview of this page. Uh, what we've got here is we have the product section here. Now, this is all the information that you will see once your point of sale system has been connected to Octopus. Uh, and up here, we have the channels, the e-commerce platforms that you may have subscribed to. Uh, for example, eBay, Amazon, Magento, BigCommerce. This is my demo store. So I have enabled a, a number of uh, these e-commerce platforms. But if you have subscribed to Shopify only, then Shopify is all you will see here. Then above that, we have advanced search. And uh, uh, let's take a look at the information that is uploaded from the point of sale system. Once point of sale system has uploaded its data, you will see that we have the option to bring image from the uh, point of sale system, product SKU. Uh, product SKU is a unique number. Uh, this is what we use uh, to connect your point of sale system to the target e-commerce platform. Parent SKU. Uh, parent SKU is a number that groups similar items together. For example, if you have a shirt that comes in different sizes and colors, uh, parent SKU would be the common number among them all items. Uh, moving on, uh, brand. Uh, we uh, do see some point of sale systems that do not have a field called brand. Uh, but if your point of sale system uh, has brand, great. We bring that here. If not, you can use any other feature. If your point of sale system does not have a field called brand, you can use any other field to bring the brand up in the cloud. Uh, the advantage is that uh, e-commerce websites rank better if you display the brand on your website. Uh, UPC, same thing as the brand. If you happen to have a UPC code for the item, it's a great idea to bring that up here because uh, people, uh, shoppers searching on Google, may be using either the brand or the UPC, uh, looking for the items that you're selling. Uh, then we have the department and category structure, item name, uh, stock, Octopus has the ability to bring stock of your each location. If you happen to have multiple locations, uh, we would bring the store ID and also it would show the stock of each location. Uh, so this is a multi-store ready. Uh, and then the price of the item, uh, style. Uh, so styles, again, as I mentioned earlier, could be your color and your size. Uh, work on a specific number of items at a time. Perhaps I can work on a category uh, that is important to me for the upcoming season. Uh, and if I filter items by search, uh, by category, so if I filter items by this category called Christmas, this will leave me with items uh, that are, you know, 98. So it's much easier to work on 98 items for the upcoming season. Moreover, you could have multiple people helping you with your online commerce. If you have more than one person, they can have their own login uh, to Octopus and they can work on their own category. So the other ways you can filter items are SKU, description, keyword, parent SKU, uh, the brand. Uh, over to the right here, uh, item status, uh, it will show uh, items that are active versus inactive. Uh, only the active items actually uh, can be sent to the website. 
location field shows the items uh, from a specific location. Again, if you had multiple stores, each of them publishing their inventory, you could filter out items by location here. So style, uh, style is the standard versus uh, matrix items. Uh, in stock, uh, this is a good way to work on items that are in stock. Uh, and supplier is another way of uh, filtering the uh, products. Data added, this can help you filter items that you've recently added. Uh, price range, search for items, uh, let's say between uh, 10 and $50. Same thing with the stock level. You can search for items uh, that are perhaps between 9 and 20. Uh, image status, you can search for items that already have images versus items that do not have an image. So this uh, can also be useful uh, in working on items uh, that need images. Uh, custom fields is a point of sale specific field. Uh, and depending on what point of sale system you're using, you'll see that uh, uh, custom field uh, filter here as well. Uh, store, again, this has to do with uh, uh, all the stores. Now, the inventory that I'm looking at down below, 7,400 plus items, that's from all the stores together. And I hope this was useful to you. Uh, happy selling.